Hello. Uh, today I'd like to talk about Buddhism, uh, specifically about the principle of cause and effect. The principle of cause and effect is the foundation of Buddhism. The entire knowledge of Buddhism is based on it. People who don't know it don't know anything about Buddhism. The principle of cause and effect is also the final truth of the universe. Everything that happens in the universe happens because of it. It controls everything that happens in, in the universe. No one can defy the principle of cause and effect. It's impossible to break it. No one is omnipotent. It's impossible to have an, um, an omnipotent being. No God, no Buddha, no one has the power to defy the principle of cause and effect. A Buddha is a person that knows and follows the principle of cause and effect. That's the definition of Buddha. A Buddha is a person that has achieved the highest level of wisdom by discovering the truth of the universe. And the truth of the universe is the principle of cause and effect. That's how important the principle of cause and effect is. So, what the principle of cause and effect says exactly? It can be stated in three simple phrases. In Chinese characters, they are as follows. Zin zin ka, akuin akka, jin jika. In means cause, ka means effect. Ka can also be translated as result or consequence. It's impossible to have an effect without a cause. There's always a cause for any effect. If there is a cause, sooner or later, inevitably there will be an effect. Zen means good. Zen in means good cause. Zen in zen ka means good cause, good effect. Aku means bad or evil. Aku in akka means bad cause bad effect. Ji means once, oneself. Ji in jika means one's cause, one's effect. Zen Zen Ka says that if you do good things, you will receive good results. Aku in Akka says that if you do bad things, you will receive bad results. Ji in jika says that if you are the one doing the action, you are the one who will receive the result. Everything that happens in the universe can be explained by the principle of cause and effect. For example, let's suppose that you are working in a building and your building is hit by an airplane hijacked by terrorists. You would say that this tragic event is the fault of the terrorists, right? They are the ones to blame for your misfortune, right? The answer is no. The principle of cause and effect says Jin Jika. If you are the one receiving the result, then you are the one who did the action. Everything that happens in your life is the result of actions that you yourself did in the past. You just may not remember. Maybe you are suffering the consequences of things you did yesterday, or maybe last week, or maybe last year. Or maybe you are suffering the consequences of things you did a million years ago in a previous life, you just don't remember. Let's suppose you are crossing the street and a car ignores the red sign and hits you. According to the law, according to the police, you are the innocent victim and the car driver is the guilty one, but not according to Buddhism. Why do you have to be exactly in that place, exactly in that time? There could be irresponsible drivers everywhere, but if you are not exactly in that place, exactly in that time, nothing will happen to you. What force pulled you to be exactly in that place, exactly in that time? The answer is karma. Everything we do are actions. Everything we think, every thought are actions of the mind. Everything we say are actions of the mouth. Everything we do with the body are actions of the body. All our actions become a form of energy an indestructible, invisible energy called Go, or Karma. This Karma is stored in a place called Arayashiki. Arayashiki is our true soul, an indestructible, immortal, invisible soul. Each one of us has his or her or own soul. Araya means a deposit, 
storage. Himalaya, Himalayans are the highest mountains in the world. Hima means snow. Alaya means storage. Himalaya means storage of snow. Araya and Alaya are the same word. Everything we did since an infinite past is stored inside the Arayashki. Every single thought, every single word, everything we did is recorded in the Arayashki. Your actions recorded in your Arayashki are the cause of everything that happens in your life. When the appropriate conditions appear, then the result happens. In Buddhism, the appropriate conditions are called Ing. The appropriate conditions combined with the, the cause to produce the result. In plus Ing equals Ka. You cannot have a result with only In or N. You need both to have the result. In our example, the responsible driver is the condition. Your past actions are the cause. The traffic accident in which you are hit by the car is the result. If I sow seeds of apple, I will reap apples. If I sow seeds of orange, I will reap oranges. If I know the seed, I know what will come out. If I know the present, I know what will happen in the future. Because the future is the result of the present. In the same way, if I see apple shoots coming out of the ground, I know that I sowed seeds of apple, not orange. If I know the present, I also know the past, because the present is the result of the past. If you want to know the future, look at the present, because the present is the cause of the future. If you want to know the past, again, look at the present, because the present is the result of the past. The present contains your infinite future, and it also contains your infinite past. You cannot change the past, but the future is something that you are creating right now with your own actions. The future is not something decided by fate or God. No one can interfere in your life. Everything that happens in your life was caused by your own actions in the past. It's not the fault of the government, it's not the fault of the boss, uh, colleagues, family, neighbors. That's why Buddhists cannot feel hatred. Hatred in Buddhism is called Gucci. Gucci may also be translated as ignorance, because people who feel hatred ignore the principle of cause and effect. People who don't know the principle of cause and effect blame other people for bad things that happen. They blame the government, the bosses, the employees, the family, the neighbors, everybody except themselves. And then they fight other people, escalate into war. But the knowledge of the principle of the cause and effect makes hatred disappear. Buddhism can stop wars. Countries like Bo with the Buddhism, countries with Buddhism like India, China, Japan experienced great prosperity exactly at the time when Buddhism was as it was at its height. If you want happiness, if you want good things to happen in your life, then you have to stop doing bad things and make an effort on doing good things. This is called Hayaku Shuzen.